50% male dominated industry. She's not, you know, uh, picked on. She prays right in the middle of the office. She's very well respected. And the whole thing is if you respect yourself, and now as a project uh, drill and blast engineer, uh, professional membership, um, uh, member grade of the OzIMM, which is the Australian Institute of uh, Mining and Meteorology, and also a member of the International Society of Explosives Engineers. So that's my background, qualification, and, and a professional. I, I fell into this uh, job, so I didn't even know existed such a thing called drilling blast. Um, I'm more of the blasting now than I am with the drilling. Um, it's two separate, but you have to give someone else. And when it comes to networking, the AA says it basically perfectly. Yeah, you and So the word ma'rifa means to know to one another. So it's a six month program. If they're successful in that program, they get full time work. So that's working. The work you guys are doing in Australia. We've really got a massive community across Australia, across America, sorry. And we don't have such a platform where Somalis can learn from each other, connect, network, came, met people, connected, spoke after the event, shared contact. So we got a Somali professional from Sydney flying. Um, he volunteered, paid for his own ticket, flew in, said I'll help anyone that wants to learn how to use Excel. He stepped in, we've got about 15 students, and he took us through the whole workshop from A to Z. So, so it's you already mentally thinking, what should I get first before? How can I attend and how can I help this platform? What can I offer this platform? What do I have to offer? That's where we want people to start thinking. So it will kind of change the whole understanding of getting help or giving help, is first, what can you offer? Take some time, think, what am I good at? What do I know? Who do I know? And how can that benefit others? And then reach out. to your identity, be very proud of your identity and I guess use that to your advantage. SubhanAllah, there's a lot that I think a lot of uh, the other people can learn about us as Muslims um, and you know you just need to get uncomfortable like I know how it feels to be really uncomfortable. Uh, when I went the entire process, I probably wouldn't even be publishing books. I probably wouldn't be even talking about you know uh, pr producing my first children's app, you know things of that sort. So one of my favorite quotes by Yasmin Mujahid is, don't curse the fall. The ground is where humility leaves, lives. Sorry. And uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in life sometimes, we get through, you know, he pushes us. He, we get through so much in life, but it's always for the better. So always have that frame of mind, inshallah, and um, in that ta'ala you'll be success. Oh, I don't think it's really worth it, you know, because why am I going through all of this? You know, at the end of the day, you start weighing up your options and eventually at times you find people end up giving up on that particular thing. Now, when, when uh, most of my mentors, what they tend to tell me is when it comes to figuring out your why, picture this, you're on a plank and it's high up and that plank is on fire. Now, what's the thing that would... Um, you know, what would make you want to cross that plank? Now let's say, the, so what, what's on the other side that would make you want to cross that plank? For me, it was quite easy. I have a son and I wanted to be able to be there for him. I wanted to provide for him. I wanted to, you know, sort of have both, you know, play the, you know, be able to both provide for my son and be there for him when he needed me. So my why, every time whenever I'm set up with an obstacle, it's just like, okay, I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing this so I can provide my son with a better life. I'm doing this so that hopefully one day, inshallah, I'll be able to live as an expat in like an Arab country and for him to do hivs there and things of that sort. So think about that bigger picture. Um, another thing when it comes down to passions 
is my mom, she always says this to me. She says, Amran, at the end of the day, Qabri Madaw or Ariri Al Kuglinaya, it's up to you whether you live the life that you know that you can be like, okay, you know what? Where you can sit in your grave and be like, that life is worth it. So about what the hijab is uh, from a Muslim woman firsthand. I'm also a childcare educator, um, and that's sort of where my passions come from. I, when I was, ever since I've been, ever since I was 16, I was teaching madrasa. Um, I was just one of those high achieving uh, nerdy kids. <laughs> so I guess um, most of where I got here today is is through networking. So I feel very passionate about networking and, and things of that sort.